guys, happy Monday. So today, oh, today's not Monday. Today's Tuesday, hello. Yesterday was President's Day. So this week is a short week. We have four days of instructional time and then our school or our class, our grade level has a field trip on Thursday. So basically I only have three days of instruction time which isn't a lot when you're trying to play catch up. But this week I am focusing on finding the main idea and supporting it with details. That is reading standard RI2 and that is for fourth grade. And um, today I'll be starting with teaching them, uh, teaching and so forth, um, main idea song and then showing them basically an anchor chart on how to find the main idea and then we will practice finding the main idea using those keywords, titles, um, repeated words, and then they will practice highlighting proof. Hey guys, so I am currently in my principal's office and I'm pumping because so many teachers called in sick today that our music teacher, PE teacher, basically all of our specials teachers had to get pulled to be subs. So there's no specials, which means the kids don't leave the room. So I had to call the front office and say, hey, can you send somebody to watch my kids? I have to pump. So here I am in my principal's office, pumping. So exciting. <laughs> Hey guys, so it is lunch time and I just finished up my pumping session. I have to go to the bathroom really bad, so I'm gonna run and do that. But um, I haven't been able to have lunch with my team and like, like I didn't have lunch with them all last week. Um, but I wanted to show you guys really quickly how I make my task cards every week for my centers. So part of my weekly centers is each student will do each center once per week. And so one of their uh, centers is math task cards. It's kind of a way for them to review a math uh, concept that we've done in class. So I like to use commoncoresheets.com and it creates flashcards that look like these. And then they have like the task card um, answer sheet. They provide answers on the back, but I don't do it that way. Um, I have my students check their work um, so they come to the back and they check their answers and if their answer is incorrect, they mark it wrong and then they have to go back to their desk and try again. So I'm actually going to print these right now and, um, and go grab them. And that's what I use for one of my math centers. So super simple, it does it for you. You just go to the flashcard maker. So this is the main page. You go to create a flashcard and then you add, you sort by the grade level. You can sort by grade level and by skill and then by the type of problem. So I like to use this because it is directly aligned to the standards and it keeps the kids engaged and practicing things that I really want them practicing. Hey guys, so it is the end of the day and I am kind of cleaning up, getting ready for tomorrow. We have been told that we can leave early because our um, specials were taken away from us, so our prep time was taken, so we are able to leave early. So I am gonna try and get out of here right at four. I have to stop by my P.O. box and pick up a couple of things, and then I would like to just go home and relax. So I'm gonna try and get my schedule up uh, for tomorrow and then make sure I have everything copied or laid out to copy in the morning. I don't have any duties tomorrow, so I'm gonna take advantage and just prep in the morning. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow, but I'm gonna make sure everything is laid out and ready to go. So I started this today. It's cute and ended up being really cute. I have all my other pieces that I plan to use. I think I'm gonna do this on Thursday because we get back at like 1.40, which will give us like about an hour left of school. So I'm gonna do that for the last hour of that day. Good morning guys. So really quickly, I wanted to show you guys my outfit. It's not anything special. Um, I'm wearing this Teach Like a Princess or Look Like a Princess, Teach Like a Jedi t-shirt. I got this online 
I forget where. It was like on my Facebook and I just ordered it. Um, and then I'm wearing my pixie pants from Old Navy again. These are like the stretchier ones. Um, and I wore these yesterday, but nobody needs to know that. And then um, I just have this vest from Old Navy because it's really cold. And my school shirt, or my school sweatshirt. And then I'm wearing my black teaks and that's it for my outfit. So this morning I got to school and the copy machine is down. So thank goodness I always make an extra set of copies for like the skill that we're working on for the week just in case. And um, so I have something for today, thank goodness. But um, it was almost bad, like there's nothing for them. Also, again, today there's no specials. So instead of me going to the principal's office to pump, um, I'm going to take my kids over to Mandy's class. You guys know who Mandy is if you've been watching for a while. Um, and they're going to do buddy reading. And um, then I'll come back in here and pump. And then we'll I'll just go back in there with them. It's only for like 30 minutes. And um, it'll be better than them just sitting in here doing nothing while I pump if that makes any sense. Um, maybe they'll do a go noodle or two in there. Um, and then today is early release, so we will be out at two. And then I believe we have meetings this afternoon. It would be really nice if we didn't have any meetings because then I could catch up on getting prepped for next week because I have not chosen what I'm gonna teach yet. But I will tell you guys the way that I choose what I'm going to teach is based on Galileo scores. So I don't know if you guys or your school does Galileo testing, but basically it's like the test to measure growth. And um, we just use that three times a year. And um, what? Sorry, it's not letting me log in. And so any of the standards that my class scores like under 60%, I teach those standards first. So like if my class, like for instance, my class did um, their Galileo test before I came back and 3% mastered main idea and summarizing text and supporting details. So that's why we're doing that this week. So I'm going in right now to look and see what another low one is and I'll teach that one next week. So that will kind of get us geared up and ready for Galileo. I also use the Galileo quiz building um, for my small group instruction as well as review for the entire class because I like to get them versed on some of the questions that they'll see on their tests. So my Galileo login isn't working so I'm just gonna go fix that and then um, I'm going to pull up my scores and see how they did and then I will plan for the next week. So that's what I'm doing. Also, I'm drinking some mother's milk tea and my awesome stormtrooper mug that Aiden got me. So yeah, thanks Aiden for this awesome cup. I'm just Star Wars out today. So I'm also eating this oatmeal that I got again, although I didn't season it this time so it tastes gross. But I'm just going to sit here and work on finding out what I'm teaching next week. I already entered my grades from last week. I just have to put them on the computer. So I'm thinking I'm gonna have Jake, my nephew, do that this Friday because all he has to do is punch in the numbers and that should be pretty easy for him. So let's see. So if you guys do use Galileo at your schools and you want to know how I use Galileo to drive instruction, comment down below and if enough of you do it, I will make a video all about how I use Galileo data to drive instruction. Hey guys, so I am now currently home and it is Friday and I'm here with mom and boogies and I think dad's over there. <laughs> so I just wanted to close the vlog and thank you guys for watching and hopefully next week I will vlog more interesting things and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!